Hey guys, uh, today I have a product review on this Constantine movie size lighter. This is uh, much larger than a regular size Zippo lighter. As you can see here, com by comparison, it's almost double the size. Now a regular Zippo lighter, this is a 1941 replica. It, it's one and a half inches wide by two and a quarter inches tall by half inch thick. And this one is three inches tall by two inches wide by 0.7 inches thick. As you can see much much wider you can see that engrave on here this lighter was done by a process called a uh, die casting that's where they make a a wax mold and then they uh, cast it in a metal in this case this was this is made completely of solid brass you see that very loud click by the cam. And this cam was custom made. This letter came from BotSave.com, which is located in Hong Kong, China. Um, and it has a an authentic Zippo insert, which is uh, very much appreciated that they're not they're staying true to the film. And I'm going to show you some pictures here in a, in a moment comparing the movie one with this one. And when I first got this lighter, this cam was very loose in there. It's not loose now because I actually uh, tightened it a little bit by squeezing this piece together against the cam. But it was extremely loose. So put that back in there. And I have the wick set right now to a very high flame. You hear that very loud clink. This way this lighter weighs uh, six ounces. And uh, this is the Medal of Saint Benedict. As you can see it's very uh very detailed floral design on it. It's pretty accurate to the movie, but it's not exact. Like you can see, I'll show you the comparison pictures right now. This is missing certain, some engraving over here, as you can see over to the right, the picture. There's pieces there that are missing, as well as over here on this side. And also, this uh, this lettering here is not tall enough. <clears throat> and this, uh, when I first got this, these corners here and the edges were very sharp. I mean, I kept hurting myself with it. Because I, I usually do this squeeze to open it. And I was hurting myself with the corners against my palm. So what I did was I took some 200 grit sandpaper and I sanded down the edges and the corners and then I took some 100 grit sandpaper to finish it off and originally this was uh, high polish on the sides so I took the 100 grit sandpaper and I'm sorry the 220 grit sandpaper and I sanded down the sides to give it a brushed finish and uh, that's actually uh, a lot more accurate to the movie now and, uh, so that's about it so I, I got this lighter from bot again from botsafe.com for 
and with this coupon code you can get a 10% discount off of orders over $150. And I think the coup I believe the coupon lasts until December 31st. I'll have to double check that. So, and shipping was $13. So in total I paid $237 for it. Which isn't that bad. I mean, is it really worth that much? Mm, to me it is, but with the uh, quality of it, it may not be worth that much. Might be a, it probably should be a little less. And you can see here that that hinge is also wrong. It should be two hinges, but it's only one. And it's, it's chrome. And chrome with brass, that does not look very good. The whole, it should at least look gold. And this, this metal here does seem to be plated. I believe it's all brass, but it looks like it's plated so that the finish shows up different. You can't see it very well in this light. But, uh, I can't tell if it's uh if it was done separately because it's completely flat. I don't know if it was a separate coin that they did or just if it was just one whole piece. But it is a very, very cool lighter. Alright. Thanks for watching.